Hello, people. How y'all doing at this moment time? Just wanted to come out here and talk to y'all for a little moment. And, uh, let y'all know some things. But uh, before we get off of today, let's get off to a prayer. Thank you, Father God, for waking us up this morning and blessing us to see a new day. Watch your words, you God, us, God, us, protect us throughout the day. Lead us throughout this day, Father God, show us the way. Now, pray, Father God, you come through me at this moment time in order to get a people out salute you. Now, pray, Father God, you let the Holy Spirit come through me at this moment time in order to get a people out salute you. Now, thank you for this in my prayer, Father God. Amen. So, what I want y'all to know is, um, <laughs> What I want y'all to know is, uh, first of all, I'm going to say this. Satan's time is up. You're on borrowed time. <laughs> You're on borrowed time. Another. For the kingdom of darkness, it is judgment day upon you. It is judgment day for the kingdom of darkness. And I pray and I prophesy and declare the three on the sound of my voice like a man. Up in the spirit realm and in this realm. In the spirit realm and in the physical realm. I pray and I prophesy and declare and the three on the sound of my voice like a man. Excuse me for the noise, guys. I know it's some, some uh, music. Excuse me for the music. I want you to understand and I want you to know. Um. All these things that they have been trying to do over me, the saints, the body of Christ, the hundred four four thousand, the children of God, the people of God, the people of the plan, the poor people of the plan, the chosen ones, all their family members, all their kids. Oh, me and my kids up in the kingdom of heaven, up in the spirit realm, up in the kingdom of heaven, up in this realm. In the earth, in the spirit realm, up in the earth, in this realm. In the universe, in the spirit realm, in the universe, up in this realm. I pray and I prophesy, I declare and I decree it on the sign of my voice command. And I pray and I prophesy, Father God, that you declare, you decree judgment day, Father God, for Satan's. Um, Kingdom of darkness over the whole entire planet. Up in the kingdom of heaven, up in the spirit realm, but the kingdom of heaven, up in this realm. Earth in the spirit realm, earth in this realm. Universe in the spirit realm, universe up in this realm. Up in the spiritual realm and in the physical realm. I pray and I prophesy to the fear on the sign of what's commanded. The Lord told y'all to stop though. I'm just here to tell you. Every day you're doing this, but you have no clue of why you even do it. Why do you do the things that you do? And you can't even, you, you don't understand. Y'all time is up, man. I'm just here to tell you, leave God's people alone. Leave God's people alone. That's all I gotta say, leave them alone. Because you cannot be in their energy. You cannot be uh, uh, close to them. You cannot be near them no more. Well, I know uh, uh, another one is telling y'all to do these things. It is these government officials. It is these elites. And it is this Pope that's sending y'all out to do these things. I know who's giving y'all the orders. I know who's giving the orders. Yeah, tell me about it. I know who's giving the orders. But I'm gonna tell you something. Time's up for him too. He knows it. Y'all have been trying to escape these things for a longest. You've been trying to escape it for the longest. We are here at the day of judgment. Are you listening to me? Everybody. This is the day of judgment. I want y'all to understand. Everything that you've been doing is totally over. Time's up for the kingdom of darkness. In the spiritual realm and in the physical realm. And I pray and I prophesy and declare and I decree and on the side of my voice, 
I command and I demand it. Father God, now pray in our prophet self, Father God, to declare and decree that the day of judgment and that it is time up for the kingdom of darkness, up in the spiritual realm and in the physical realm. I pray in our prophet self, I declare and I decree and on the sign of my voice, I command it all over the planet. Um. You wonder why all these things are happening at, you, at what you've been doing at this moment in time. Y'all day is here. Ain't no more putting your karma contracts on people no more. That's stuff that's not working no more. The Lord has called it. He's destroyed these things. He's broken these things. Yeah. Nothing that y'all do now is going to be able to work against us. And I pray and I prophesy, I declare and I decree, and on the sound of my voice, I command it all over the planet. Nothing that y'all do is over. It's totally over. Time's up. Mm -hmm. See, now, ain't no more playing victim no more. I'm going to tell you what y'all do. And another thing too, let me get into this too. Stop praying for your enemies. Are y'all listening to me? Stop praying for these enemies because I'm going to tell you something that God tells us to do and that he does not tell us to do. This is a work of the enemy when he tries to get you to pray for them. Jesus said forgive them 70 times 7. He said even bless your enemies. Bless them for those that, you know, see words you. Bless them. You know? Do that. Do that part there and forgive them. Yeah, you can do those things. But praying for them, I didn't hear that part. What I know that the Father has given me is not to pray for them. Because this is why. Listen very closely. When you pray for them, it gets in the way of what the Lord is doing. That's why they always holler about. I'm going to give you an example. When the White House, when they always, uh, uh, when they always in trouble, and they always tell people, oh, uh, uh, pray for us and, and worship for us, well, pray for us and worship for God for us, and things like this. That's because they want you to do these things so they can stop God from punishing you. Them. I'm gonna say this again. They want you to uh, praise and worship with them, and and pray for them with them. And pray for them and with them because they know your prayers and your praise and your worship work. Because they're going to use you to do it. This is a tactic of the enemy God showed me a long time ago. Go ask him for yourself. Don't just take my word for it. Go ask him for yourself. These things that I give you, I want you to go ask him. Because I want you to know the truth. How the enemy takes things and twists things and try and make it so it seem as if God is doing it. That's one of his main tactics. Oh, God is doing it, lying to you. Get that thing out of there and stop getting him the, uh, uh, <laughs> I like to say it's something. <laughs> Playing these games, I don't play games. That's one thing they know about me. I do not play games. They know I read everything that they can, that they try and um, put out here with foolishness. God showed me these things a long time ago. Yeah, forgive them, and you know, even bless your enemies, but don't pray for them because I'm at them. I'm, I'm, I'm coming for them. That's what he means by that. Don't pray for them. You forgive, you bless them, turn your head, and you leave it to God. I'm not going to pray for you. This is the reason why. Let me tell you. Why would I keep on praising you? You mocking God in my face. And then even when I pray for you, you still gonna go right back and keep doing the same old stuff. You're gonna even do it even worse. And you and I'm praying for you for no reason at all. I'm defeating the purpose and beating the, uh, what they call a, a, a horse. <laughs> you know, I don't wanna say the other word, but beating the horse and he ain't moving. You get what I'm saying here? 
you're defeating the purpose. So therefore, you're trying to basically save the enemy from him hurting you every single day. No, I'm not going to do that. Get him out of here. It's judgment day. The time has come for you. Ain't no more saving y'all. Y'all ain't finna play no victim and play the villain at the same time. They try to play the victim and the villain at the same time. I do not suffer witches and demons. Jesus did not suffer witches and demons. He did not play with them. They knew this. That's why they hate it. And I rebuke it and I bind it up and I cast it down. He knows. They knew that he sees the truth that what they were doing Stop with the manipulating and deceiving tactics. Don't play with me. You mock my God and do you want me to pray for you? <laughs> we'll see about that one. Stop praying for these enemies. Stop praying for these enemies. It's common sense. One thing about it though, I don't like foolish things. God don't like foolish things. He don't like a, 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 a two-timer. Like he always say, you're gonna either choose one or the other. He don't like no two-timers. You're either gonna be with God or you ain't with God. If you ain't with God, you're on the other side. Stand clear of my people. We ain't finna play this uh, trying to sniff out and, and, and all these. Get your agents out of here and return back to the sinners. We're not playing. This is the day of judgment. This is the kingdom of heaven day of judgment upon the earth and i pray and i prophesy I declare and i decree and on the sound of my voice i command and i demand it you will not play with the kingdom of heaven for we are over all governments you will come too on the day of the books being opened and that is now you were warned so I pray that y'all take these messages to the Lord Jesus Christ this moment in time, get into some, uh, some prayer, I mean, get into some fast, some praying, some reading the word, build relationship with the Lord, communion with the Lord, and uh, this is God's good news for you, baby. Y'all be blessed. Amen.